Hi. Hi, my name is Ryan. I'm one of the account managers here at ASCOF Technologies. I hope you're doing well. We've been receiving a lot of calls lately from customers regarding Metasoft version 23 and whether or not you should upgrade from your current version. That's always a good question. Of course, there's always a business case to be made for keeping current on your business software. But beyond that, I think the root of the question is, will the new version of the software help me and my business by saving time, money, or helping my business or myself be more profitable? That's a very valid question. With that in mind, I wanted to share a previous webinar that we put on for our customers that dive into some of the new features of Metasoft version 23. All right. The next features that I'm going to talk about will be mostly within the PowerPoint because revenue management is very difficult to demo, um, but it's a very powerful feature that's been made even more powerful with Metasoft version 23. Um, and the first thing that I want to talk about in revenue management, uh, for, well, first I'll make sure everybody understands revenue management is the piece that sends your claims to a clearinghouse, whether that be Change Healthcare or Trizetto, whoever it is that you send claims to, very often that goes through revenue management. It's what's used to generate and manage the ANSI files within Metasoft. This particular uh, version of revenue management has been updated with version 23 to show you some very important data on the main screen. In previous versions, if there was a secondary carrier, you would have to go from revenue management into claim management in order to see who the secondary carrier was and whether or not they were a uh, crossover claim that was automatically forwarded. All of that you'd have to look up in Metasoft and you wouldn't be able to see it within revenue management. This was very time consuming and took a lot of clicks, made following up on secondary claims very hard. In version 23, we've added who the secondary carrier is, the way that that secondary carrier is going to be sent. This is one of the most powerful features that you'll see because that's telling you that the secondary carrier has automatically been forwarded as a crossover claim from the primary insurance carrier. So you don't have to go worry about that one because it's automatically been forwarded over as a crossover claim. If something does not show that, you do need to make sure you send that secondary claim. You wouldn't believe how many offices just choose not to send secondary claims because managing through that process is extremely difficult in previous versions of Metasoft having to go back and forth and see that data and make sure that you're doing it properly in multiple different screens took a long time and made a lot of people not want to do it. In version 23, we've updated that to make it a lot easier to send your secondary claims. We really appreciate you watching this short video. I hope it provided you and your business uh, some valuable information. If you have any questions or would like to discuss the features further, or if you'd like to get a customized yeah, quote, uh, we always welcome a call. Hey, Thinking, hope you liked the video and found it helpful. If you did, let us know by giving us a thumbs up by clicking on the like button below. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, feel free to write those in the comment section below. And if you want to get more helpful videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks.